and I buy a hunky punky. Hey baby, buy a hunky punky. And you're watching One Pot Punk Rock. Now tonight I'm gonna cook a little one of my favorites. It's chili One Pot Punk Rock style. Come on over here and check it out. Now I know that looks like a lot of stuff, but trust me, this recipe is mucho easy. I'm gonna put a list up for you later, but let me break it down real simple. Now you got your beans, your capsicum, tomato, your onion, your corn. Then you got your, like your fresh herbs, your coriander, your garlic, your lime. You got some. Dried herbs, whole mess of chilies over here, baby. Tabasco, too. And then there's the three things that make this an El Lucio One Pot Punk Rock special. You got coffee, you got chocolate, and you got, as the Irish say, Guinness. First step now, chop it all up. Thick, thin, it don't matter. No, by Nazareth, super, 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 man. Ya lo conocen. No, by Nazareth. I wanted to show you guys a couple of quick, easy tips for when you're dicing an onion and when you need to want to use fresh garlic. Now these are tips my brother, El Jarito, learned when he was working at a kebab shop. So you want to do fresh garlic, but you don't have a garlic uh, roller, you know, you don't need one, man. It ain't that hard. Just do it with your hand. Oh, come straight out. Look at that. There you go, that's, that's tip one. Tip two, you want to dice an onion? All right, I'm telling you, you do it in a crisscross pattern on the top of the onion, nearly all the way to the bottom. So do it one way, turn it around, do it the other way, and then you flip it over. Now watch this. Diced onion. Oh yeah. Now I know I just blew your mind with that one. Oh, mm. all your hard work's done now. You just gotta add stuff to the pot. We're gonna start with the garlic and the onion. To add a little oil. Add your onion. Get the season. And we'll use this crusher again. This is the first thing we add, then we let it brown like five minutes and come back. Okay, so that's browned up nicely, looking good. Next step, add your tomato and your capsicum. Mix that all around. And right now, what we're doing is just adding the beef stock and gonna let that simmer a little bit and bring it to a boil. Mm. Okay, so I brought the tomatoes and the beef stock back up to a boil. Now what you're doing with the beef stock, same as we're going to be doing with the guineas and the coffee and the chocolate later, is bringing in those earthy, robust tones, all right? They're going to be offset by the sweeter, higher tones of like your lime and your coriander and like the chilies themselves. So what you got is you got the flavors, earthy, robust here. They're coming in from this side. You got the sweeter, higher tones. They're coming in from this side and it just go pow in your mouth. That's what makes chili so good and that's what makes this one pot punk rock special chili the best chili. All right, now we want to add the beans, lots of beans. Going to add the carrot, and we're going to add the corn. Okay, we're going to let those carrots simmer for a while, and then we're going to get to the real fun stuff. Some dishes you want to taste the same every time. You want to go for consistency. This is not one of those dishes, all right? No two chilies should ever taste alike. You want to, like, have them surprise you every time. So with that in mind, I'm just gonna like add all of this stuff and see what happens. All right, it's more pop pop rock, baby. If there's something you don't like, don't add it. It don't matter. First up, like we're saying, like the high tone. So I'm gonna add a little Basco in here. Get it for a little sweetness. I'm gonna add some cinnamon, a sprinkle. If you like teaspoons, I mean, by all means, use a teaspoon. Some what, what's, what is that? 
Worcestershire sauce. I put it in. It's cumin. Some lime. Squeeze a lime. Oh yeah. Yeah. And some of those freshly chopped chilies. Mm -mm. All right, and that takes care of your sweet high tones. Now for your robust tones, we're now gonna add a whole thing of coffee. <laughs> a whole thing of Guinness. Guinness, as the Irish say. And then we're gonna add the chocolate. I guarantee you this is gonna taste real nice. Mix all of that in there. And finally, for a little bit of extra flavor in the middle, I'm gonna add like one or two bay leaves. And then like some basil leaves. Finally, a little bit of pepper. Never have too much pepper. And a little bit of salt. Stir that all in. And away we go. All you gotta do now is let that simmer. The longer you can let your chili like just simmer, it's gonna intensify. Just slow cook that baby, all right? Just keep it in that one pot and slow cook it. Hey, baby, buy like a that's been simmering for like an hour or so now. Leave it longer if you can. But if it's still too runny, then add like a little cornmeal or chickpea flour to thicken it up. Remember though, you want to keep it a little runny because once you take it off the heat, it's gonna, it's gonna thicken up anyway. While it's simmering, make sure you try it. See if it needs a little bit more of this or a little bit more of that to your own taste, what's going on in your own head. But for me right now, Oh, let's go brown, just like my mama used to make it back in San Cerveza. Let's go plate it up. Now you can serve this with like tortillas or with rice, but honestly, it don't need it. This is a meal in itself. A little bit of coriander, a squeeze of lime, and I guarantee you, it'll be the best meal I've eaten all day. This is a Lucio for one pop, punk rock, boom. What you think, Miguel? Me gusta!